Hello everyone, this is Teacher C and welcome to our YouTube channel. So today, we will going to discuss about the quantitative research. So for this episode, you are going to describe the characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses of a quantitative research. So let's go! So quantitative research is an objective, systematic, empirical investigation of observable phenomena through the use of computational techniques. It is also highlights the numerical analysis of data, hoping that the numbers yield unbiased results that can be generalized to some large population and explain the particular observation. So simply, quantitative research is concerned with numbers and its relationship with the events, and it is also suggested that the data concern can be analyzed in terms of numbers. So let's discuss about the characteristics of a quantitative research. The first one is the objective. So quantitative research seeks accurate measurement and analysis of target concepts. It is not based on mere intuitions and guesses. Data are gathered before proposing a conclusion or solution to a problem. The next one is we have the clearly defined research questions. The researchers know in advance what they are looking for. The research questions are well defined for which objective answers are sought. So all aspects of the studies are carefully designed before data are gathered. The next one is we have the structured research instrument. Standardized instrument guide data collection, thus ensuring the accuracy, reliability, and validity of the data. Data are normally gathered using structured research tools such as questionnaire, to collect measurable characteristics of the population like socioeconomic status, number of children, and others. The next one is we have the numerical data. So since we are talking about the quantitative research, figures and tables or graphs showcase the summarized data collection in order to show trends, relationship, or difference among variables. In sum, the charts and table allow you to see the evidence collected. The next characteristic of a quantitative research is a large sample size. To arrive at a more reliable data analysis, a normal population distribution curve is preferred. This requires a large sample of size depending on how the characteristics of population vary. Random sampling is recommended in determining the sample size to avoid research bias in interpreting the results. The next one is we have replication. Quantitative research methods can be replicated or repeated to verify findings in another settings, thus strengthening and reinforcing validity of finding elimination, the possibility of spurious conclusion. And lastly, we have the future outcomes. By using complex mathematical calculations and with the aid of computers, if then, scenarios may be formulated, thus predicting future results. Quantitative research puts emphasis on proof rather than discoveries. So now, let's go to the strengths of quantitative research. The first strength of the quantitative research, it is an objective, the most reliable and valid way of concluding results, giving way to the new hypothesis or to disproving it. Because of bigger number of the sample of a population, the results or generalizations are more reliable and valid. Since it provides numerical data, it can be easily misinterpreted. The next one is the use of the statistical technique facilities, sophisticated analysis, and allows you to comprehend a huge amount of vital characteristics of the data. It is also real and unbiased. If the researcher is properly designed, it filters out external factors and so can be seen as a real and unbiased. It is also the numerical data can be analyzed in a quick and easy way. By employing statistical valid random models, findings can be generalized to the population about which information is necessary. And lastly, we have here quantitative studies are replicable, 
standardized approaches allows the study to be replicated in different areas or over time with formulation or comparable findings. So all you have to do is to adopt the study and change the respondents and or variables of the study. The quantitative experiment also are useful for testing the result gained by the series of qualitative experiments, leading to a final answer and narrowing down of the possible direction to follow. Next is we have the weaknesses of the quantitative research. Quantitative research requires a large number of respondents, so it is assumed that the larger the sample is, the more statistically accurate the findings are. Because of that, it is costly, since there are more respondents compared to qualitative research. The expenses will be greater in researching out the expenses will be greater in re reaching out of the people and in reproducing the questionnaire. The information also is contextual factors to help the interpret the result or to explain variations are usually ignored. It does not consider the distinct capacity of the respondents to share and elaborate further information unlike the qualitative research. Much information and also are difficult to gather using structured research instruments specifically on sensitive issues like premarital sex, domestic violence, and among others. And lastly, if not done seriously and correctly, data from questionnaires may be incomplete and inaccurate. Researchers must be on lookout on the respondents who are just guessing in answering the instrument. I think that's all for today and goodbye.